We're going to talk for the next couple of minutes about aspiration of a foreign object, aspiration doing with breathing, breathing in a foreign object, meaning something uh, solid or liquid that is taken into the airway when uh, it's supposed to go down the throat and into the esophagus and stomach. Uh, basically, when a foreign object is aspirated, it either partially or completely obstructs breathing. Now, this is most commonly seen in children. I know from my own childhood, I was running around the house with a lifesaver in my mouth, aspirated it, it fell down into my throat, and uh, blocked the airway, but thankfully lifesavers, it's ironic that it would be called that, have a hole in the center, so I was able to breathe somewhat until the object could then be removed from my throat and I was able to uh, swallow it normally. So children very commonly aspirate foreign objects. Infants sometimes aspirate their baby food, uh, things like this. It's also found in patients and the elderly who have dysphagia. Uh, or other issues related to swallowing that uh, might be the result of, say, a minor stroke, things like this, so that uh, they have difficulty swallowing and therefore they may aspirate or breathe in food, liquids, things like this. So anytime that uh, a foreign object has been aspirated, some of the symptoms of this would include wheezing, strider, things like this. It can be heard throughout the lung and they would have persistent coughing and uh, would complain of, of basically something being stuck in their throats, which it actually is. So um, there's the wheezing, the feeling of something stuck in their throat, persistent coughing, they probably aspirated something and maybe weren't aware of it. Uh, the airway is uh, possibly um, partially blocked, but if it becomes fully blocked, that's critical as it leads to respiratory arrest. So. Um, Basically, when you're examining, you need to find out how much blockage there is, try to calm the person, and then move to treatment. Yeah, the basic treatment is to remove the obstructing object in one form or another. In minor cases, this is fairly easily done sometimes with a, a hand sweep, a finger sweep, um, or other methods of getting you know, more liquids to pass or whatever. But in more severe cases where there's full blockage of the airway, you may have to go to the Heimlich maneuver, uh, getting behind the patient, arms around beneath the sternum, and pulling up forcefully forcing air out and up, expelling the object, hopefully. And uh, in the most extreme and severe cases, a tracheostomy may be necessary where you go below the obstruction, open a hole, and uh, using some sort of uh, tubing or opening to allow air to come into the airway below the obstruction until it can be surgically removed. So once again, aspiration of a foreign body, commonly seen in children, also in patients with dysphagia, elderly with perhaps minor strokes that affect their ability to swallow. Uh, they aspirate food, water, other things. Uh, they may be a persistent cough, a feeling like something's stuck. There's whizzing, wheezing, strider, things like this. In the severe cases, there's complete blockage, which leads to respiratory arrest. Treatment is removing the object uh, with a sweep, finger sweep, or Heimlich maneuver, and in the most extreme cases, a tracheostomy.